Hey, wonderful viewers, and welcome back. Today, I thought I'd talk about the missing link. Not the missing link in humans, but the missing link in the death ray. We're all told at school that Robert Watson Watt rejected Tesla's death ray idea, but it went on to produce radio direction finding that was later renamed radar by the Americans. And that was the end of it. Oh no, it wasn't. The Air Ministry offered a prize of £1,000 to anyone who could build a death ray that could kill a sheep at 100 yards. Although this appeared to be in the realm of science fiction, the British government was worried that the Germans were working on such devices. Today I'm going to share with you nasty evidence that Britain experimented with these exotic horrible killing machines and so did Germany. Although the British War Office officially dropped the death ray as a weapon, research continued into the death ray's effect on humans. A hand-picked team of scientists was set up led by Dr. Hill. He wanted to know the fatal dose. In this extremely rare photograph, we see British soldiers running past an RF source to check how much electromagnetic radiation a human body could stand. No doubt animal experiments were also carried out into an application of Tesla's death ray. And we've all read and heard myths and legends about the Nazi bell. A possible time-traveling UFO? No. It was used to destroy organic matter. To turn humans into black goo and dust. And the Germans also experimented with X-ray guns that again would kill people at a distance. And I found this fascinating report. A US airman flying over the German city of Dresden nearly lost control of his plane when all the instruments went wild due to the effects of a directed energy weapon from a laboratory in Dresden. Magnetic wave. The best information available is from a very secret and reliable source and forces the conclusion that this weapon exists as a possibility. It is designed to cause failure of various electrical apparatus in aircraft. The German laboratory was totally raided after World War II and the technology taken by the Americans. So that's just some of the, I think, slightly more hidden history about directed energy weapons. But I think there is a hidden timeline. I think there's a direct connection from Tesla to UAP. 
and I think there's a murky bit in the middle where some of it didn't really work, it was ahead of its time, but today we can make Foo Fighters, we can make UAP, we can make countermeasures, loyal wingmen, using directed energy weapons. And it's all very secret. And I'm looking into it for you. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please help this channel grow by giving this film a thumbs up. Thank you so much, that was great. I really do enjoy researching these films for you because the truth is out there.